Hey, welcome to the Practice Minute. I want to invite you into three things this week. Three things that come from our verses uh, from Sunday, Easter Sunday in Psalm 24. It's the structure of how most of the Psalms are written. There's uh, remember who God is, rest in God, and then find joy. And the structure of the Psalms, most of the Psalms are written with that three-part structure. The first part is we're going to remember God. The second part is we're going to find rest in Him. And the third part is we're going to experience His joy. And so here's what I want you to do this week. I want you to dive into Psalms. Maybe a great place to start is what's called the Hallel. It's Psalm 113 through Psalm 118. I want you to dive in there and do a little bit of reading, do a little bit of exploring, do a little bit of study. And look for those three sections in each one of the Psalms. Now, mind you, they don't always end and, and cleanly and move on. And sometimes they're repeated. So you may find remember, rest, joy, remember, rest, joy, all in the same psalm. Sometimes, no matter how long the psalm is, it's three distinct parts. But what I want you to do is just look through the psalms, 113 through 118. It's, it's the, the Hebrew uh, praise of entering in the temple. Um, as we talked about on Easter Thursday last week, the Hallel ended with Psalm 118, which is probably the psalm that Jesus sang on the way to the Mount of Olives to pray in the garden with his apostles are in the upper room shortly after they finish their dinner. I'm not going to spoil it, but definitely dive into um, Psalm 118, 21 through 29, and you'll see Jesus all over it. So there's your, your challenge for the week, your practice for the week. Go into Psalms 113 through 118, the Hallel, H-A-L-L-E-L, and you can do a little bit of a Google search on what the Hall L is. Don't trust everything you read on Google. If you find a, uh, a, a website that is more Hebrew than Christian, you might get a better background of it. But I invite you to go into those Psalms, read those Psalms, look for those three movements, those three sections in each one of those Psalms. Remember, rest, joy, and then let those Psalms, the living Word of God, bring those things to life in your very own soul. Thanks for watching and have a great week.